Here's a quick look behind the scenes at how we grow the mushies that go into micro products. So we start out with a mushroom culture grown out on a nutrient plate and we transfer sections of that mycelium into jars or bags of sterilized grains. Uh, these are what's known as spawn masters and then we can then use those to expand onto these larger bags of spawn that you see here going into the autoclave um, and then we then use those larger bags of spawn to inoculate the substrate. So these get cooked under high temperature and high pressure to kill off any competing organisms and then once they're cooked we go into the lab, we take our spawn masters and we inoculate the new larger bags of spawn. So this is a technique that's known as a grain to grain transfer, so we're using the master to inoculate the larger bags of spawn, they'll get sealed up, sent off into incubation and uh, once they're fully colonised we can use them to inoculate our substrate. Then we move on to substrate prep. So uh, we've got a mix of Australian lupin hulls and Tasmanian oak. Gets loaded into bags here, loaded onto racks and then uh, wheeled into our sterilization chamber where they get exposed to high temperatures for around 18 to 20 hours. Uh, again, that's just to kill off any competing organisms or bacteria. And then here's the farm manager, come to check on everything. Once the cycle's finished, we open the sterilizer up, let all the steam out and then we unload the sterilizer while the blocks are still hot and we move them into our lab to cool down under HEPA filtered air. Um, so we'll leave them in there to cool down overnight and then the next day we come into the lab and we do our inoculations. Sterility and cleanliness are probably the most important factor in mushroom cultivation because mushrooms are super prone to contamination from outside sources. So here we've got some lion's mane spawn and literally sort of the same process as before, we're adding spawn into the bags of sterilized substrate. Uh, they get sealed up and they get sent into incubation for varying lengths of time depending on the variety of mushroom. Uh, can vary anywhere from a couple of weeks to a couple of months. Here you can see them in incubation and you can see the mycelium here starting to take over the substrate. Once they're fully colonized by mycelium, we move them into the fruiting room. So here we're essentially trying to simulate mushroom season. So mild temperatures, high humidity, all that stuff that mushies like. We've got some lion's mane poking through. And then in about two weeks, you've got these beautiful heads of lion's mane ready to be harvested. So basically we just pull the mushroom off the fruiting block. Look at that absolute chunk. And then these guys will get packaged up and sent off to be dehydrated and powdered and then that powder will be sent off to the lab in New South Wales for extraction and turned into micro products. Thanks for watching.